I believe that one of the challenges that we are facing in the context of the development of sustainable and decarbonizing technologies is that we have to do things much faster. Things that we used to do in 20 years, we have to do in five years. And this means that we have to change the way we publish, the way we do research and many other things. Hello, my name is Pelayo García de Arquer. I am a group leader and professor in ICFO in Barcelona, and I am happy to be one of the new editors-in-chiefs in Carbon Technologies. The way we envision the Carbon Technologies Journal is to be kind of a different place where we focus on advances that can make a transformative impact in these technologies, because we believe we are at the crossroads where uh, it's important to push uh, towards more reliability, stability, scalability, and things that are really important if we want to make impact in these technologies. So the scope of Cambridge Prism's carbon technologies includes own forms of carbon capture, storage, and conversion technologies that can help reduce carbon emissions. And we aim to highlight the research that bridges the gap between the early state discovery, innovation, and large-scale demonstration. My name is Kao Thang Ding. I am a co-editor-in-chief of Cambridge Prism's Carbon Technologies. I have been working on carbon capture and conversion in the last 10 years, and to me, every day is a defining moment, working toward advancing this technology to make the impact for the society. My advice to the researcher working in this field is to look at the overall impact of your work, not just in the specific fields, but your work may have a significant impact in the other fields. Journal Carbon Technologies Value Proposition focuses more on the applied aspect and, and solutions related to, to carbon technology. So I, I believe this is a, a differential factor, a signature of the journal that will uh, naturally bring uh, benefits for researchers who want to impact with their research into this field. We're very excited to launch this new journal and we really hope that this will become like the default where to go publishing place for works that are transforming these technologies in an applied way. I hope that Cambridge Prism Carbon Technology can bring together researchers with diverse expertise that can help advance carbon capture and conversion technologies. If we can attract a wide range of audience, a wide range of researchers published in this journal, um, that would be the first success to me.